You're, uh, you're protecting a city that niggas in that city don't even like you in? Not just talking to Chief Keith. I'm talking to you niggas that actually live not just in Chicago, but in O Block. Those motherfuckers that you talking about, that, you see gang out here right now. Them niggas don't fuck with you. Them niggas don't even like you. The, the thing that was crazy is, Takashi 12 has brought motherfuckers together that if he wasn't there, they would be killing each other. Hold up, dog. Takashi 12 did something that niggas should be able to do on their own, which is come together. Why is it that niggas will come together to destroy something, but not to build? You used to be my nigga. That's where you used to be my nigga. I put purple cush my switch. I put purple cush my switch. I cook ground size this nigga. I cook ground size this nigga. Should've known you wasn't enough fish. Should've known you wasn't enough fish. You used to be my nigga. That's where you used to be. To you by my olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're gonna need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Now I can't reach you. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. This is Are You Fucking Serious? As you can see on the shirt. Um, <laughs> what do y'all want? Takashi 69, his name is no, it's not Takashi 69 anymore. His name is Takashi 12. Takashi 12, that's his name. I am flabbergasted by this whole situation for a plethora of reasons. Like, why in the fuck are we still going over this shit? Like, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm kinda tired of covering this nigga. Like, I'm gotta be honest, like, I don't, I don't, I, Cause I wanna, I wanna talk to you about real life shit that you can relate with. I'm trying to find what the lesson is here. Like, what's the lesson here? What are we learning here? He's fucking around and playing with niggas, and niggas are allowing him to play. So you two, you have two playful groups. Now, I guess the only difference here is you thought one of the groups were not with that play play shit, and now we're finding out that they can bleed that they may not be who the fuck they say they were you know what i'm saying like you was expecting for chief keith and the chicago niggas to be utterly retarded to where they would shoot everybody anybody play with them they would shoot everybody no questions asked i don't give a fuck if you with the police or not whoever with you gonna get knocked the fuck down Shoot. don't mind me I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. 90% of communication is non-verbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as, although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, oh, this is really shit on YouTube, oh, this fuck shit is a thousand, keep it real, and all that shit like that. I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over twenty dollars. You have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the big homes AO Nation T-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the twenty-five dollars on them, come back to the Facebook message or the Instagram. Let me know you paid. Tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kind of obvious. I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, be home. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this is how niggas portray themselves. Chicago, motherfuckers have this um, um, idea, um, this mental picture of Chicago niggas, and Chicago niggas are just all the way retarded. Like, ah, nigga. Like, we'll do anything at any point in time. We kill everybody. Don't nobody live. But see, this is what I told you, motherfuckers. 
niggas are going to hate the niggas that they know way more than they hate a stranger that's pure point blank. Chicago niggas do not kill LA, Atlanta, Denver, New Jersey, New York. They don't kill outsiders. They kill niggas in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of, I'm not going to get on that gang shit. But that's what I told y'all that he was going to go there and come back unscathed because niggas. These niggas ain't trained killers. They not trained killers. A lot of these murders that are happening in Chicago are accidental deaths. Um, uh, niggas mad about a bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas high. That's an accidental death. If you kill a nigga and you go to jail and, and be all fucking like, after you get sentenced to your sentence, and you now like, man, I wish I would have did this shit. Oh, God. Oh. You throwing up after you done killed the nigga. Oh, my God. Oh, they can't believe I did. Oh, my God. Please. That's not what you do. You kill somebody. You not a killer. It's a difference. I told y'all a long time ago, long time ago, Killing somebody do not make you no real nigga, nor does it make you a killer. If you a real nigga, if you a real street nigga, then you know somebody who didn't caught a body, but he is a bitch ass nigga. If you in prison right now, you know it's a lot of niggas in that hole that got bodies, but they are bitch ass niggas and they are not killers. You can slap this nigga, take anything from this nigga, and won't shit happen. A real street nigga can tell you the difference between a nigga who killed somebody and a killer. And that's what we're dealing with right now. You niggas don't understand. There is a, there's not no fine line. It's a very big fucking line in between a rapper and a fucking killer. Not only does the rapper have to be a nigga who ain't scared and just a bitch nigga who's acting. This nigga has to be a real deal fucking killer. A lot of niggas in the street, street niggas that don't do no rapping. It's not no fucking killer. These niggas will shoot you in the leg, shoot in the air and shit like that to get it. The realest nigga that, like, the, the nigga that you respect in your, like, in your neighborhood, the gangster nigga, like, he's not even about that killer shit like that. This nigga gonna think that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Try to find a way around that shit. Pay a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Go smash a nigga out, some shit like that, before he just kill a nigga. Niggas is not really built like that. Killers? Killers? That's some, like, that's some heavy shit that's what we talking about right now. So it's like, it's crazy to me that we talking about 6 9 and Chief Keith and Chicago niggas as a whole. All the motherfuckers in Chicago are not fucking killers. And this is what we trying to tell the fucking public. We trying to tell the bitch in, in, in Congress and the judge and in the judicial system, judicial, <laughs> the judicial system. We're trying to let them know we are all not killers. They're painting us with this fucking brush and we're helping them. Everyone there is not no fucking killer. It's niggas there that are just trying to live their fucking life. But when we have situations like... My nigga Cook Up Johnson. Cook Up Johnson, this is a nigga that when he was beefing with Pastor Troy, I spoke to the nigga because that is not a play play rapper. Like he's one of the motherfuckers who actually are on that level. So and Pastor Troy is not no play play nigga neither. These are like if you listen to Cook Up Johnson music, you will understand, like you can tell, you can tell what's going on. Every rapper is not no whole ass nigga, but it's a very big majority of these rap niggas are bitch ass niggas that are painting a picture for you and just trying to entertain you. A real killer really don't have the mental capacity to really just be in the booth and rapping like that. Like even to, they carry themselves different. These niggas got personas. Like with, with Tukey Williams, you, you hear about Tukey Williams. This nigga didn't even raise his voice that fucking much. So when you got 6 9 screaming, he run around with 50 niggas. And even when he's running around with 50 niggas, he still got police with him like Cardi B, like 50 Cent, like Drake. What are we doing here? Like, he came outside at 4 o'clock in the morning and he tricked niggas. And all the old block niggas came outside. Oh, he ain't out here. But you niggas seen he was out there feeding the homeless folks. 
and you took a picture of him with the whole police car behind him. Like, oh, this nigga got the police out here with him. Okay, so if he got the police out there with him, what good would it do if you rush outside the house because he's outside of O Block? Ain't the police with him? If you niggas weren't scared of the police, then why the fuck did you just take a picture of him with the police and you didn't just run up on him? My thing is this. Like, are police officers, like, nigga repellent? Like, will you dissolve if you get around a fucking police officer? When Cardi B was walking into that mall shit and that fucking disgruntled fan uh, was screaming at her and shit like that, like, the police were standing there and they were, like, pushing folks back. Just because police are that, it don't mean that you can't go and talk to the nigga like, yo, Takashi, what's up, big dog? You talking a lot of shit online, what's up? Like, you want to know what I'm saying? We can do a one-on-one right here, what's up? You won't get arrested for that. Why the fuck is niggas acting like police or fucking just nigga repelling and you just going to die or you going to just, you know what I'm saying? You can't go up to the, like, and if police really are nigga repelling, then why in the fuck would you run outside as if you going to catch him without the fucking police? At this point, you can make Takashi look fucking retarded just by not paying him no mind. He has police with him. There is no more beef. The beef, the street beef is over. He runs with police officers. The fuck is, I don't understand. There's police around him at all times. So you can't fight him unless he wants to fight. And even then, you know he don't want to fight. You can't shoot the nigga unless you shoot past the fucking police. So why the fuck are you still giving him airtime? I'm going to be honest right here. Real talk. You niggas are calling him out. The nigga didn't come in the game calling you niggas out. When he came in, the first nigga that went at him was Trippy Red. This nigga ain't go with you niggas. You niggas went at him and tried him, and he just, know what I'm saying, cowered you niggas the fuck down. Because you wasn't ready for him to be how he is. Uh, see, y'all niggas bullshitting. Y'all niggas online, and you don't understand what real life is. Loki Smoola learned real quick what real life was. This internet shit is one thing, and everybody just ganging up on this nigga, whatever like that, but niggas don't understand. The weakest nigga, the scariest nigga, can still be that nigga that's not a killer, but he didn't kill somebody. And you can just happen to be that one motherfucker that he killed. How much is your life worth? Stop playing in these fucking streets. If the nigga's a clown, let him be a clown and pay him no mind. This is what the fuck you got to do with your life. This is what you got to do with your life. The shit that don't got shit to do with you, let that shit. Come on, man. Watch that shit, man. Watch that dumb ass shit. Why the fuck is y'all actually beefing and actually moving? You actually moving on this nigga with rainbow? You actually moving around this nigga? Talk your shit about him and let it, I'm saying, you down the road. Or don't talk no shit about him and just know what I'm saying, do your career. Do your career. I, I, at this point, it's obvious that none of you niggas are going to touch Takashi 69 or my mistake, Takashi 12. No one's going to touch him. You're not going to get a one-on-one. You're not going to shoot him. I've said this once before in my last video when I told you that he was going to come and go without being touched. Anyone who mentions Takashi 69, Takashi 1, 2, Takashi 12, if you mention his name, then you are clout chasing. Because you know it's not going to end in anything else but him coming to your city with a army brigade and you're not going to do shit. He's going to come around here, you know what I'm saying, feed the homeless people like fucking Drake did. And it's over. Nothing's gonna happen. Like he's past that point of man. When he come to my come to my city, man, we gonna got. You can't do that shit no more, man. It's over with. Handle your business. Live your. We do this shit too much as black people. We do it way too much. We want to destroy. As I told you, we want to destroy shit way more than we want to build, and we'll actually put energy into destroying something, but we won't put no energy into building something of our own. The way them niggas came out of that fucking gate when they were trying to get that nigga at O Block. Dog, do you know that if them niggas move that fucking fast on a job opportunity, on a on a music opportunity, they had that type of focus? The way that these motherfuckers is focused on Takashi 12, if they focus that much on their child, talk to the bitches and the niggas. If they focus that much on 
getting off drugs. If they focus that much on actually finding a way out of the streets, the way you motherfuckers are following this Takashi 12 shit is, is synonymous with the type of passion a runner would have with the fucking track. Like, you motherfuckers are extremely focused on this goddamn boy, and I'm trying to figure out how is it going to help you? You're, uh, you're protecting a city that niggas in that city don't even like you in? Not just talking to Chief Keith. I'm talking to you niggas that actually live not just in Chicago, but in O Block. Those motherfuckers that you're talking about, that, you see gang out here right now. Them niggas don't fuck with you. Them niggas don't even like you. The, the thing that was crazy is Takashi 12 has brought motherfuckers together that if he wasn't there, they would be killing each other. Hold up, dog. Takashi 12 did something that niggas should be able to do on their own, which is come together. Why is it that niggas will come together to destroy something, but not to build? And, but I, I, now, let me talk to this bitch. Hey, sweetheart, Chief Keith, baby mama. Look here, let me talk to you, baby. First off, you, you look like you diseased, and I'm sure that Takashi tried to get to one of Chief Keith's more attractive baby mamas. Because when I see, when you see the thumbnail of Takashi walking with this flamingo leg bitch, the shit really looked like I could. I thought that was just another scene of him feeding the homeless people. Like I, I'm like this. He's okay. He's still feeding the homeless. Like no, but the, the the title say. Uh, Takashi 69, Takashi 12 tape, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Chief Key, baby mama on the shopping spree flies. I'm like, where the fuck she at? Here go this light skin, and like this, come on, babe. Look, that was, I mean, that was, I guess that's live because you can put that up and you know what I'm saying? You can put that on the title. Oh, I flew out your baby mama and shit like that. But this is what I'm trying to tell you niggas about these hoes. That bitch that you with right now, the hoe that you're with right now. Just as soon as y'all get into it, this bitch is going to make it her business to do some shit like this to disrespect you. Understand that bitch that you with right now, that hoe that you think is just all, you think it's all good. Dog, this hoe do not want to be with you. This hoe wants to be with a nigga that's popping. You are not fucking popping, big home. Please listen, I'm talking to you, big home. Now, I'm not talking to Chief Keep or Takashi, none of them rap niggas. I'm talking to you that's watching this video. The bitch that you with right now cannot wait for another nigga to come along so that she can disrespect you in this same way. My nigga, you need to drop any bitch that you with. And, and ladies, drop any nigga that you with. Until you get your shit together, you got to put love on hold. They... They, they lied to us when they told us that, you know, uh, yeah, find true love, soulmate, and all that shit like that. What comes first is getting you together. A lot of y'all don't even know who y'all are, so you get put in these situations. Chief Key was on a whole lot of dope. He fucked a whole lot of bitches raw, and he took advantage. My nigga, understand, if you have anything going for yourself, the best way to be is alone. Get your shit together, learn yourself. For girls, it's the same fucking thing. Learn yourself. So that, of course, means don't bring no child into this world. Can you fucking believe that that flamingo picking face bitch has a fucking child? She's a fucking mother. Can you imagine what her child is going to be like? If it's a boy, can you imagine what he's going to be like on society? That is that pussy to prison pipeline I'm telling y'all about. The system feeds itself. The welfare mothers fill up the fucking prison. It's like a fucking um, what is it? Like a um, like a um, like like a beehive or a fucking, you know what I'm saying? What is that? Like like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm feeding the the beehive, the, the queen bee. Like she fucking hatches fucking eggs or whatever the fuck she does, and it just 
builds the system. It builds the system. As long as they have a welfare, the same house that that welfare mother lives in, it it's a straight line from that welfare house, that, that apartment complex, straight to the fucking local prison. From there to the prison, from there to the prison. And all that happens is new niggas come in and put babies there. A nigga come in the door, a baby come out, go to prison. A new nigga come in, you know what I'm saying? A baby come out, go to prison. And in the meantime, every nigga that go in and out that door, he's going to fucking jail for child support. So a nigga come in, go to child support court, go to jail. Uh, a baby come in, go out and go straight to prison. Because the child is not being raised because the mother is too worried about getting another nigga in the fucking door. In the fucking system... Fuck that. The white man is saying, bring more niggas in. I'll pay you more money. Because the, the more children you have, the more money you get back in tax season. I'm, I apologize that Takashi 6 9 and the Chicago shit ain't the, the, the biggest shit on my mind. But just thinking about it, this is another example of what the fuck is going on. Can we not see this? Am I crazy? Today I went and got a microphone because you know I'm going on my first live show um, in about a week or so. I'll give you a date in just a second. But I've decided that I must go out into the world and speak live, not only to touch more people, but I think we need to separate me from all of the other media platforms. Them niggas won't even show their fucking face, let alone will they actually come outside of their house and actually try to change anything out here in the fucking world. Big Facts Podcast, I'm El Canseco. Y'all make sure y'all hit that PayPal. Are you serious? Shirts are on the way. See y'all in a minute.